It's good to speak with you again, Brian. Um, I, I look forward to hear about the upcoming IT management of export control seminar, which you're involved with. Can you start by providing a brief background of yourself? Sure, Dustin. Appreciate your time. I work with a company called Global Resources, and we provide uh, global trade management consulting and solutions for manufacturers and import distributors uh, around the globe. Uh, been asked by the American Conference Institute to join them in uh, producing a, a workshop, uh, seminars, uh, on February 20, uh, 28th, uh, 2013 in San Diego, uh, specifically focused on IT management of export controls. And what you're going to find is a comprehensive uh, benchmarking and uh, in-person networking forum uh, that they're pulling together, uh, specifically dealing with uh, export compliance risks, uh, IT uh, issues around safeguarding of ITAR and EAR controlled data, uh, and basically the, the managing and the sharing of networks and the collaboration platforms um, helping corporations with exporting goods out of the United States. I'm going to be specifically focused on two areas. Uh, one is how to identify um, your company's virtual export compliance weaknesses. Uh, in that area, we're going to be diving into the um, overall IT risk assessment, uh, dealing with detecting threats and weaknesses uh, based on government's rules and regs for exporting and helping a, a company um, pull together a IT program that addresses export compliance. Now the second area that I'm going to be focused in on was going to be selling the export compliance program to senior management where we're going to be discussing how to pull together a project plan and to address the key areas of export compliance and show an ROI uh, to your senior management. That sounds great. And can you talk about who should attend? Well, overall, your, both your business uh, and IT personnel, your senior management, compliance, legal, uh, supply chain um, executives should be attending this this type of forum. There's going there's going to be um, a number of representatives there from uh, the United States government as well as. Um, corporations such as ITT, Eaton, uh, as I mentioned, the BIS, uh, SAP is going to be there, Lockheed Martin, uh, Oracle, uh, Next Labs, and uh, my own team with Global Resources Management. And can you talk a little bit about why uh, they should attend? Well, in today's day and age, uh, the biggest areas of concern is compliance. Um, the biggest areas of change management right now is trying to automate processes and procedures. Uh, taking your current landscape, whether it uh, be uh, SAP or Oracle or multiple uh, ERP systems and, and or SaaS solutions and making sure that they're compliant with government for export controls. Um, in layman's language, you know, your packing list, commercial invoice, certificate of origin, um, your bills of laden, uh, any transportation mode of moving goods cross-border uh, has to be 